Sam, two nights before he disappeared, he came to my house. I've cracked it, he kept saying. Now, he was talking about genetic algorithms, quantum teleportation. He said he was about to change everything. Science, medicine, religion. He wouldn't have left that, Sam. He wouldn't have left you. First of all, thank you for sitting down this morning. Um, your character in the film mm -hmm. is maybe the most visually extreme of the characters in terms of how they've designed him. Mm -hmm. um, how true. early in the process were you involved in that? Did you just see a finished rendering and that was what you stepped into? Basically, yeah. It was, it, it, the, the look of, my, of all of the characters that I was aware of was already up on the boards and they'd been working on it for months and um, the costumes were, were built to fit, um, but they were off a, a kind of template that everything, if you lined all the costumes up, the way they had them on the wall, you see how they all relate to each other. There are subtle differences in the way the lighting strips go that mark rank or character. Um, but this idea of this shaven-headed, Dude with a, a visor that floats over the front of his face. Um, that was all, that was on the storyboard. I was like, "Wow, <laughs> wow!" Now, once you're once you're all rigged up and you've got the lighting set, and you're in the costume. Yeah. Uh, how much of that gets you into the mindset already? And then, how much more do you have to do as an actor to prepare for that that character? I don't know that you can ever say, as I'm sure you know. You don't. You you you, you just sort of. You turn up with what your ideas and the hopes are for the for the story, and then you work with the other actor there and the director and the people, and you kind of find it on the fly. I don't know that. That's the beauty of it. I yeah. think is that it starts to come together. That's the magic of acting, I guess, is is that you start bouncing off of each other, and suddenly that it's happening. My storyline was relating to Jeff Bridges. Uh, motion capture self. So I did all my scenes with two actors. I did the, oh, wow. the body double and then Jeff Bridges with the mocap helmet and then they took those two separate characters and built the character that I'm actually relating to who I don't really discover until I, I watch the movie. So that was a fascinating. Wow. Thing. It, it, they've come so far since you guys made the one in 82. Your performance is Live, live action. Yes, I get to do that part. Um, I'm, I'm fine with that too. By the way, someone asked, uh, "Didn't you want to be?" I said, uh, "That was I was there." How, how big? A, how big a difference was it? Was it for oh. just looking at what they've gone? Through? I did do some motion capture stuff for the face. You know, I had to I'd do all of that, um, but I had the real world. You know, uh, the boardroom scene. We only finished shooting about three months ago, a little less than two, three months ago. We did that uh, at. Uh, you know, th that's how they've been working on this thing. So it was very interesting to see Killian show up as a young. As yes, thank son. you. Yeah. Yes, Junior. It, it, it feels <laughs> almost like uh, like a thread that's left out there. So Gee, I wonder. Come back to Dylan. You never know. Mm. Mm. You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's been just absolutely thrilling. I was uh, when James was talking about his lit up suit. Mine was just uh, spandex with um, sharpie markings of our circuitry because we didn't quite. They didn't. They did want to have the lit suits. That sure. was that was in the works, thinking about how do we do it? How do we do it practically without wiring, trailing behind? This is such physical characters, you know, as you know. And even in that one, I mean, I was running and jumping and leaping and hanging and throwing uh, frisbees and catching them. Now we're at the place where we could actually have those things, those suits and things like that. I, I, I guess what I gathered from Garrett and everybody, it wasn't exactly the most comfortable things to wear. Sitting down was a... Um, they they looked like exit. a second skin, but we couldn't actually sit in them. They built these chairs that were bicycle seats that were about a la high. That's a, yeah. uh, Jeff had one that was like a floating board that, would, that he could lie back on. Yeah. Mm. It, yeah. They weren't so. like real... They, they weren't as comfy as they look. They look... They look incredible. phenomenal in it, though.